If the Constitution was designed to limit the powers of the federal government, where did the founders think real power in the American system should lie? Well, actually, the, the jury box is where the power lies, and it's an anchor against tyranny and government. When people look at what happens when the government gets beyond its uh, boundaries, um, beyond its scope of power, well, it, it passes tyrannical laws, or it passes, when you say tyrannical, it'd be any law that is outside their scope of power. That's uh, the definition of tyranny that I use. Yeah. So when the government does that, how do you overturn that? People say, well, just elect a new representative. Well, that works as, as well as uh, going out there and uh, writing letters to Washington. The way to overturn tyranny in government is in the jury box. It's where people just say, we're not prosecuting people for that law. For example, the health care tyranny bill, uh, they call it something else, but I call it the health care tyranny bill because it's loaded with laws or rules or regulations that the government has, the federal government has no authority to actually issue. So uh, what happens? Well, just say, that's it. I'm not obeying those tyrannical laws. And if they try to prosecute you, it's the jury that just says, that's it. Um, we're not convicting on this. I'm sorry. And then you can overturn tyranny in government simply. And that's the power the founders gave, made sure that we had through the Sixth and Seventh Amendment to the Constitution. And why do you think the government needs restrictions? Huh. People who get in power have a tendency to think that they know best and they're going to they're gonna control the world, make the world a better place. And the old axiom about power corrupting, you know. So uh, where if you want the power to actually reside in the people, that's the only way you can guarantee it is where the people have the final say. Where do they have the final say? It's in the jury box.